Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I'm going to look at percent change problems. They're really common on the ASVAB. Doing some practice ones will really help you a lot. I have a few practice problems here and then down below I have some practice word problems. Not only are we going to look at percent change, we're also going to be looking at how to convert from a ratio to a fraction to a decimal to a percent. So percent change is defined as the amount of change over the beginning amount. So the percent change is equal to the amount of change. Delta is sometimes used for change over the starting amount. So let's take a look at the first one. I go from 50 feet to 75 feet. 75 minus 50 is 25. Starting amount is 50. 25 over 50 is a ratio. I could reduce that ratio. 25 is divisible by 5, it'll go in here 5 times. And then 50 is divisible by 5, it'll go in there 10 times. And then 5 will go in here once, 5 will go in here twice, and I have the fraction 1 half, and I know 1 half is equal to 50%. So the correct answer to this one right here is 50%. I'd have some paper and pencil out in front of you, I do the problems before I do them, take a few notes. The act of actually writing them down and doing the problems is how you remember them. How do I go from 60 inches to 100 inches? 100 minus 60 is 40, so I have 40 inches, divided by the starting amount, 60 inches. Again, 10 will go in each of these to give me 4 over 6. 2 will go in a 4 twice. 2 will go in here 3 times. That will give me a fraction of 2 thirds. I might recognize that as 67%. If I don't, I could do 3 into 2. Well, it doesn't go into 2, so it goes in there 0. There's a decimal place here, right? 2.0 is the same as 2. The decimal place moves up here. 3 goes into 26 times, giving me 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. Bring down the next 0. 3 goes into 26 times. And I'm going to keep going. It'll just be 0.66. The way I take this decimal and convert it to a percent is I go over 1, 2, and 0.66 is equivalent to 66 percent. I probably should round up to 67. Number 3 from 30 to 90, so I go 90 minus 30 is going to give me 60, and then the percent of change is going to be the amount of change, 60, over the starting amount of 30. Again, 10 will go in each of these. Give me 6 over 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Or I can see that 3 goes into here twice, 3 goes into here once. So you can see it as a fraction 2 over 1 or just 2. 2 is actually 2.0, just like that last one, or 2.00. The way I go from there to a percent is I go over 1, 2. So 2 is equal to 200%. Number 4, again, do these before I do them. 30 minus 6 is 24 over the starting amount 30. And then I'm trying to again figure out what numbers go into both of them. 6 will go into both of them. 6 will go into here 4 times. 6 will go into here 5 times. Right? 5 times 6 is 30. 4 times 6 is 24. I see that as 4 fifths. I might recognize that as 80% or 0.8 if I don't. And I'm going to just divide it out, 5 and a 4, it doesn't go in there, the decimal place will come up. 5 into 40 would be 8, and that's where that point 8 comes from, or over 1, 2, to give me 80%. Okay, number 5 here, 800 to 200, I go down 600, right, over the starting amount of 800. So the amount of, this is going to be a decrease, like the last one was a decrease, you could just say the amount of decrease is a positive number, or you could say a negative, either one will work. Uh, again, 100 will go into here, these two zeros will cancel with those two zeros, 100 goes into there, negative 6 times, into here 8 times. And then 6 eighths, I could see 2 goes into there 3 times, and 2 goes into there 4 times, so I have negative 3 fourths. I might recognize that as 0.75 three quarters and 0.75, or negative 75%. So the change is from 800 to 200 is negative 75%. Or you could just say it decreased by 75%. Okay, let's do one of these word problems. Mark 
got a raise and his hourly wage increased from $12 to $15. So the amount of change is $3 over the initial amount of 12. What is the percent increase? So from 12 to 15, it's that is the percent increase. And I got to turn that into a fraction, a reduced fraction into a percent. So three goes into here one time, three goes into here four times. I might recognize one fourth as a quarter, or if I have it as a quarter, 0.25 or 25%. Okay, number seven here, price of a pair of shoes increased from 20 bucks to 32. The amount of change is $12 over the initial amount of 20. And then I could see, you know, I could divide by a lot of numbers that go into both of them, but I think I'm just going to cut each one in half. So I'm going to divide by two. Two goes into here six times, two goes into here 10 times, and that gives me six tenths. Six tenths is 0.6 into six. It doesn't go in there, bring the decimal up. 10 into 60 is six. So that's how you could get that 0.6, and then convert it to a percentage. Okay, two more to go here. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. I have a lot of math videos to help you work your way through the ASVAB exam or standardized math exam. I have a playlist called the Foundations of Math. So if you're really behind and you can't remember a lot of stuff, maybe go back and watch that whole series of videos. Uh, if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. Working a little bit every day and honing those math skills will really help on any standardized math test. Okay, number eight. The coffee shop, the price of a cup of coffee increased from 120 to 144. I go 144 minus 120, and that gives me 24 cents over the starting amount of 120. Again, that's a ratio, one number to another, the change over the initial amount. And then I'm going to try and reduce this. Um, I see a lot of numbers that go into both of them, but six will go into them. Six will go in here. Um, four times, and actually I'm going to divide by a, multiply by 100 to get rid of the decimal place. So first thing I do is it's the same ratio as 24 over 120. And then from there, six went into there four times. Six goes into here 20 times. Right, so I'm dividing by each number by six. That gives me 4 20th. It's starting to look like actually if I multiplied by a five over a five, Right, I'm multiplying by one, doesn't affect the value. Across the top gives me four times five, 20. Across the bottom gives me 100. If I get my fraction out of 100, then I know that's gonna be a percentage. So that is 20 of 100, or one-fifth it reduced to, or 0.20, or 20%. So I'm showing a lot of different techniques. Um, in doing these problems, hopefully that'll refresh a lot of these ideas. That kind of number sense takes time and practice. Um, let's do this last one. 240 to 276 is 36 cents of change, right? So I go from 240 plus 36 to get to 276 over the initial amount of 240. I'm going to multiply both sides by 100 get rid of that decimal to get 36 over 240. Um, six is going to go into both of them. Let's try that first. Six will go into here six times. Six will go into here, um, how many times will that go in there? Six into 24 is 40 times. I could divide again to get three over 20. And then I could stay there or I could do the same trick I have here. I can multiply this by a 5 over a 5 to get 15 over 100. Once it's over 100, it's automatically right there as a percent, right? So that's going to be the equivalent of 0.15 or 15 percent. All right, well, I hope this was a good refresher about percent increase or decrease. Maybe watch the video twice even and, and do the problems before I do them. Just kind of reinforce the ideas and practice reducing fractions going from ratios to proportions to fractions to decimals to percentages. All right, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions at all, please post them in the comments.